since division of matrices is not allowed, the way to divide them would be through inversion. The procedure for matrix inversion is different from multiplication and not just its opposite. Learn more about matrix inversion in this video. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. The inverse of a number can be taken as its reciprocal, like the inverse of 9, is 1 upon 9. For the inverse of matrix, taking its reciprocal the same way as numbers is not allowed as the procedure connotes division. A way for us to work with division is to take the inverse by raising the matrix to the power of negative 1, which has the purpose of taking the reciprocal. There are different ways to take the inverse of a matrix like those reflected in systems of linear equations which will be discussed later on. In this video, the inverse of a matrix will be computed using the matrices determinant and cofactors. Let's learn how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix with this example. Determine the inverse of matrix S with the following elements. To follow the formula, we work with the parameters like the determinant. In the example, the determinant is computed as 1 times 3 less 2 times 4, which yields negative 5. Next is to reverse the elements and there are procedures to follow. First, the elements with the same indices, that is element 1, 1 and element 2, 2 will swap places. Those with different indices will keep their place but take the opposite sign. In the example, 1 and 3 will swap places, and elements 2 and 4 will take the opposite signs. After determining the parameters, we can plug them in the computation. So the inverse of matrix S is the reciprocal of its determinant, that is 1, all over negative 5, multiplied by the reverse matrix. If desired, you can expand to eliminate the scalar outside the matrix, and that can be done as shown. The inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix has somehow a more complicated procedure. For example, determine the inverse of matrix K with the following elements. Just the same, start by identifying the determinant, and in this example, we would use a Saris method. The positives will then be solved as 2 times 1 times 0, plus 1 times 2 times 3, plus 3 times 0 times 1 which can then be simplified as positive 6. The negatives will then be taken as negative of 3 times 1 times 3, less 1 times 2 times 2, less 0 times 0 times 1, which would be taken as negative 1 less 4 less 0, or that would be negative 13, Thus, the determinant for matrix K is 6 less 13, or negative 7. Next is to take the cofactor matrix, so starting with element 1, 1, we get 1, 2, 1, and 0. The cofactor of element 1, 2 will be taken as negative of the submatrix 0, 2, 3, and 0. Element 1, 3 will be positive and the elements involved are 0, 1, 3, and 1. The next element, element 2, 1, would be negative of the submatrix 1, 3, 1, and 0. Element 2, 2 will include the elements 2, 3, 3, and 0. The cofactor of element 2, 3 will be negative of 2, 1, 3, and 1. For element 3, 1, the cofactor involves 1, 3, 1, and 2. For element 3, 2, it is taken as negative of the submatrix 2, 3, 0, and 2. 
And finally, element 3, 3 will have the submatrix width 2, 1, 0, and 1. Taking the determinants of these submatrices will show the following cofactor matrix. Now that you have the cofactor, the additional step is to take the reverse. In this step, the main elements in the main diagonal will be kept, so negative 2, negative 9, and positive 2 will have the same arrangement. Next, swap the elements from the upper triangle with the lower triangle, so 6 and 3 will swap. Next, the elements negative 1 and negative 3 will also swap. Lastly, the elements 1 and negative 4 will also swap. Complete the equation by plugging our resulting parameters such as the determinant and the reverse cofactor matrix. Again, if desired to eliminate the scalar, then incorporate it among the elements of the matrix. How to check the matrix? It is a condition for inverse matrix that if matrix A is multiplied by its inverse, the resulting matrix is an identity matrix. In the example, multiplying matrix K with its inverse would show an identity matrix or one with a diagonal having ones and all others as zeros.